Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be diving into the powerful filter function in Excel. If you are a data analyst, a student or simply looking to enhance your spreadsheet skills, understanding how to use the filter function can save you time and streamline your data analysis process. So let's jump right in. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Before we get into practical example, let's quickly go over the syntax of the filter function in Excel. The filter function allows you to extract specific data from the range based on one or more criteria. Here's the basic syntax equal filter bracket start array comma include comma if empty and then bracket close. The array parameter refers to the range of data that you want to filter. Include is where you specify the conditions or criteria for the data you want to extract. Finally, the if empty parameter is optional and allows you to define a value or action if no data matches your criteria. Now that we have the syntax down, let's see it in action. This is the sales record data that include employee ID, name, zone, sales 2021 sales 2022 and we will be using this data to demonstrate you the filter function we want to filter this data on the basis of different zones so first i'm going to write this zone and then in front of it creating a drop down list of different zones so for this purpose i will go to the data tab and then i'll go to the data validation and here in this data validation I will select the list and here I will provide the names of different zones separated with the help of commas and then I will click apply. Now you can see that a drop down arrow is created with this cell. If I click this cell, I can select any zone from the list. Now I am going to write the formula. For this purpose, I will go to this cell under the employee ID. Now I am going to write equal and then filter bracket start and first I have to select the table array then comma and now I have to select the zones so I select this column and then write equal and after equal I have to specify it the cell where I will write the zone name so that is the H2 and after this I close this bracket and press enter now you can see that the data from the Multan zone has been filtered in this sub table. Again if I change the zone you can see that the data about that zone is filtered in this sub table. So this is how you can get a filtered data on the basis of a certain criteria. Now I am going to show you how you can create a dynamic chart using this filtered data. For this purpose I will go to this sub table employee ID and then press Control Shift arrow down and then control shift arrow right after selecting this data now I will go to the insert and in the chart I will select this bar chart and then resize it according to my need now I can change the title or any other formatting that I want to change in this chart so I will remove the chart title and then get this data set over here now you can see if I select another zone, not only the data is filtered, I also get the good visual description of the data in the shape of this bar chart. In conclusion, the filter function in Excel is a fantastic tool for effectively analyzing and organizing your data. It allows you to quickly extract specific information based on criteria, making it easy to work with large data sets and gain valuable insight. By using the filter function, you can save time, improve accuracy and make your data analysis process much smoother. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the basics of the filter function in Excel. Don't forget to practice and explore the different capabilities of this powerful tool. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.